Danny Caslow, Mafia Moto Crew, Mechanic for Nick Way. Uh, for me, I started pretty much just like a lot of the guys in the pit started. I used to race growing up, um, you know, pretty much my whole life started driving when I was three. Uh, worked on my own bikes, did the whole deal like that, and got hurt a good amount when I was 13, 14 years old and started just kind of helping out my brother. He was in the B class turning A and uh, went to some amateur races with him and just kind of changed tires, changed filters, changed oil, done stuff like that. and then. Just kind of developed from there and worked for a uh, rider out of Texas named Clay Miller and just kind of developed from there. Worked for Wilder Brothers and Honda Detroit and some teams like that and uh, ended up here with Nick this year here in 2014. Could be happier. I'd say working for Nick is probably is a huge change of pace for me. Um, he keeps the mood light, keeps it fun, and uh, for me, he does it for all the right reasons, which is hard to find here in the pro pit. Some guys do it for the paycheck, some guys do it for the image, whatever the scenario might be. But for Nick, he does it for the love of riding a dirt bike. So. It keeps the mood light, keeps it interesting, keeps it fun, and like you said, we have one of the better pit vibes going on over here, so it's really cool to, to work for a guy like Nick and to be a part of the Mafia Moto Crew. I would say it, it's pretty hard to get your foot in the door at the professional level. Um, it's all about pretty much building a good image, building a good name, and um, I feel like for me, the motorcycle really represents who the mechanic is, so for me, I really try to put a lot of focus in on, on my motorcycle and make sure everything is tip-top shape the best I can do, and then. Um, now I'm really not uh, a person to go around and kind of brag or talk much, so like I said, I, I just kind of try to let my motorcycle speak for itself and you know, let everybody else kind of notice how hard I work and uh, you know, just kind of base it off the motorcycle. Typical work week uh, for us over at Mafia Motor Crew is pretty hectic. Um, starting on Monday, I uh, usually get back into California Sunday afternoon. Monday is kind of the prep day, get everything ready for the week. Tuesday is normally a day where we kind of try to do some testing if there's testing to be done that week and just kind of get it done early. and then. Wednesday is a travel day for us, um, fly to the races, and then Thursday I start from the ground up with my motorcycle, build it, I go through the motor, do all, of them, do, do all the motor stuff myself, so obviously there's some motor maintenance that needs to be done week to week, and then build the whole chassis all the way up, and uh, Thursday is when all that stuff mainly goes on, and then Friday we set up the canopy, do all that stuff, and Nick comes in and check over the bike, make sure everything's how he wants it, and what he um, is expecting out of me, and all that stuff, and, and Saturday is a race day, and Saturday after the race, we frame the bike back down and get it all apart. So that way, if there's anything broken or anything that needs to be addressed, we can address it that week um, and then go into the next race weekend with the parts and materials needed. I would say it, it can be stressful at times, but for me, I always revert back to, to why I started, and that's because I, I love two wheel motorcycles. You know, I'm, I'm a motorcycle enthusiast, whether it's Supercross, motocross, um, flat track racing, um, GNCC, anything like that. I I pay attention. Like right now, there's Texas Amateur Nationals going on. I'm on my phone every couple hours looking at results. And like I said, for me, it, it gets hectic at times, but I always seem to revert back to, to why I started, which is the love of motorcycles. So, uh, if I had any advice to give to an aspiring wrench, I would just say just just work hard and put your head down. And if you believe that you can do it and and you do the right steps and do the right things. Um, I feel like you can you can pretty much get your foot in the door anywhere. You know, like I said earlier, I feel like your motorcycle reflects who you are as a mechanic. So a lot of the guys around the pits, they they know this is a good bike when they see one. So um, just work hard and put your head down and chase your dream.